Assalamualaikum viewers. Welcome to my channel Health and Beauty. I hope you are fine and enjoying a good health with the grace of Allah. Uh, if you did not subscribe my channel, I request you to subscribe my channel Health and Beauty and do like my video. So as you can see, today's video is about vitamins. So let's talk about vitamins. We'll discuss in this video about their introduction, their functions and their classification and how they work and what are the benefits of vitamins. So let's start without any further delay. First of all, we'll talk about the introduction of the vitamins. The word vitamin comes from the Latin word vita meaning life and amine because vitamins are, were originally thought to contain amino acids. Vitamin is a nutrient that the body needs in small amounts to function and stay healthy. Sources of vitamins are plants and animal food products and dietary supplements. Everybody must take a certain amount of vitamins to stay healthy. Vitamins are organic substances produced by animals and plants. They often are called essential because they are not synthesized in the body except for vitamin D. Now we'll talk about the functions of the vitamins. Vitamins are micronutrients that offer a range of health benefits including boosting the immune system, they build up the resistance of body against diseases and prevent and cure various diseases caused by deficiency. Strengthening, strengthening teeth and bones, help in digestion and utilization of minerals, salts and carbohydrates in the body. Maintaining health, healthy skin, helping the body metabolize proteins, supporting healthy blood, aiding brain and nervous system functioning. Now we'll talk about the characteristics of the vitamins. Vitamins are required in small quantities in the diet because they cannot be synthesized by the body. Water soluble vitamins cannot be stored in human tissues. Their excess is excreted with the urine. Significant amount of fat soluble vitamins can be stored in adipose tissue and the liver. Some vitamins are made by bacteria in the intestine. Once growth and development is completed, vitamins remain essential nutrients for the healthy maintenance of cell tissues and organs. Now we'll talk about the classification of vitamins. Vitamins are classified as they as either water soluble or fat soluble. In humans, there are 13 vitamins. Four fat soluble, A, D, E and vitamin K. And nine water soluble. Eight B vitamins and one vitamin C. Water soluble vitamins dissolve easily in water and in general are readily excreted from the body to the degree that urinary output is a strong predictor of vitamin consumption. Because they are not as readily stored, more consistent intake is important. Fat soluble vitamins are absorbed through the intestinal tract with the help of lipids, fats. Vitamins A and D can accumulate in the body which can result in dangerous hypervitaminosis. And what is hypervitaminosis? This is an abnormal state resulting from excessive intake of one or more vitamins. Now we'll come back. Fat soluble vitamin deficiency due to malabsorption is, a, is of particular significance, significance in cystic fibrosis. Let me define what is the cystic fibrosis. It's a 
an inherited disorder that causes several damage to the lungs, digestive system and other cystic fibrosis affects the cells that produce mucus, sweat and digestive juices. These secreted fluids are normally thin and slippery. Now we'll talk very briefly that what is fat soluble vitamins and what are the water soluble vitamins. First fat soluble vitamins which are vitamin A, D, E and K. These are called fat soluble vitamins because they are soluble in organic solvents and are absorbed and transported in a manner similar to that of fats. Vitamins that dissolve in fats because fat can be easily stored in our body. They can accumulate and be saved for later use. The fat soluble vitamins are A, D, E and K. Now we will talk about water soluble vitamins. A vitamin that can dissolve in the water. These vitamins are called water soluble vitamins vitamins are nutrients that the body needs in small amount to stay healthy and work the way it should as i have defined earlier also that these are the vitamins which are stored stored by the body to keep yourself healthy but they always carried out by the urine. The excess of the vitamins are carried out by the urine. Water soluble vitamins are carried to the body's tissue but are not so stored in the body. There are nine water soluble vitamins. The, vi the, the B vitamins, folate, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, pentothenic acid, biotin, vitamin B6 and vitamin B12 and vitamin C. Deficiency of any of these water soluble vitamins results in a clinical syndrome that may result in severe morbidity and mortality. So that's why we should contain healthy vitamins and healthy fat soluble vitamins and healthy water soluble vitamins so this was the all the topic about the vitamins i will talk about fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins in detail in the next video so i hope viewers you like the information which i shared in this video about vitamins thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel health and beauty and do like my video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your response. I'll be waiting in the con comments. Take care till the next video we'll meet. Inshallah. Bye bye. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.